The Nintendo Switch launched one year ago in March, and I'm bringing back Q Lithium, answering all your questions about the Nintendo Switch's first year of release. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel, Nintendo Collecting. It's so good to bring this series back. It's been too long for Q Lithium. If you have any questions for me for a future episode, just comment below. My next video is actually still going to be with the Nintendo Switch. I got so many questions from you when I threw out the question on Twitter and on Instagram. So thank you so much. This time around, I'm going to answer 8 to 10 questions about the first year of the Nintendo Switch's launch. And next episode, I'm going to do the next year of the Nintendo Switch. So I'm really excited for both of these. Thanks so much if anyone asked a question. So first of all, let's just get right to it. This is an Instagram question, and this question comes from DeBoss5379. What was your favorite moment of the first year of Switch? Wow, so there were so many great moments in gaming on the Nintendo Switch in the first year. First of all, just getting the system and having it in my hands for the first time was really ex exceptional. I loved holding this in my hands and just seeing this is really going to work. Nintendo has a really good concept on their hands. However, I think a lot of people will agree with me. My favorite moment on the Switch is Zelda Breath of the Wild. When you first gain control access to Link, I guess, and you walk out of the cave and it's a really early game and then it gives the pan shot of the entire world. It was breathtaking. I was blown away. It really showed me how vast this game is, and you can really truly go anywhere in this game. If you haven't played Breath of the Wild, whether you own a Switch or a Wii U, you should definitely get it. I would highly recommend it. This is one of the best gaming experiences I've had in my entire life. That's my best moment. I can never recapture that kind of. It's like playing Super Mario 64, Mario in 3D for the first time. Zelda Breath of the Wild, and the first time playing it on the Switch, you can take it on the go, you can play it at home, vast open world concept game. I was blown away, I love that. Other great moments for me though, of course, Super Mario Odyssey, fantastic game, we're going to talk about that more in this video. Playing Splatoon 2 online is a lot of fun, I always loved Mario Kart Deluxe. I also just got Skyrim, which is a game I've never played before. ARMS is a truly a fantastic fighting game. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is an insanely large world as well with so many enemies and so well made. And then Fire Emblem Warriors. So if you're wondering, this is my Switch collection so far. There's some glaring omissions, but so many good experiences can be had on this system. And there's all the DLC and different games basically that you can download. So I really do enjoy playing this system, but Breath of the Wild, that wins for me. You can also comment below, what's your favorite moment on the Nintendo Switch in the first year? All right, let's get some more questions. So next up, we have Dylan McIntyre. This is from Twitter. Do you think the Switch would be as popular as it has become with the lukewarm response of the Wii U and with the Xbox and PS4 on the market already? Good question. Did I think it would be as successful as the Wii U with the lukewarm response to it? Absolutely. I thought this system would outsell the Wii U pretty quickly, and it's basically almost done that in one year. I think the Wii U sold 12 million units, maybe 13 million, and this is already on pace for that after one year. The Nintendo Switch is really popular. Now, it's one of the fastest selling game systems ever. I think the DS has over 150 million sold. Somehow the PlayStation 2 is still getting sales and past the DS again a few years back, which is really strange. However, I do think the Switch will be as popular as the Nintendo Wii. I think it's going to be that popular. In terms of the Xbox and the PlayStation, those are both kind of competing more with each other, and Nintendo's fine to let them go off on the side and battle themselves out and do their own thing. So even though the PS Vita and the PlayStation can kind of moderately interact, it's nothing like on this scale. So I think this, being home console, being at the, on the go, I guess, as well, them combined is a really good idea. When I was talking about my NX or Next System projections for Nintendo or predictions, I did think that Nintendo would do just this. Come out with a system that's both and it's a hybrid. And I do think the 3DS will slowly be weaned off this year and this will be the focus for all games. But I want to talk about that next video for the next Q Lithium entry, I guess. So I'm, I'm not that surprised it's really successful. If you have a Switch, you know how fantastic it is. I wish the battery life was a little bit better. The Joy-Cons are truly remarkable. The fact that they really are Wii remotes, but HD or just better Wii remotes. And this combines so many concepts from the previous Nintendo systems, including the Wii, the Wii U, going back with the, like, the D-pads kind of there from previous systems, but the Joy-Cons with the analog sticks, with the rumble going back to N64, the controls kind of goes back almost to the NES as well. And you can play multiplayer and take these off and give one to a friend. Just a fantastic idea. So I'm not surprised. It's truly a remarkable piece of technology that I think is priced right and people really want it. 
Next up, Nintendo no Nintendo Nerd two fifty six. It looks like this is from Instagram. Have you one hundred percent completed Super Mario Odyssey yet? Super Mario Odyssey, one of my top games of the year for sure. Nintendo's first year. This is again one of those amazing moments with Nintendo video gaming, and it really does feel like Mario is in 2017 and 2018. He feels like he's up to date. This game has the most controls of all time. I beat the game any percent. I then went on to collect a lot of other moons, but I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't played this before. I have hundreds of moons, but I do not have all of them quite yet. I'm getting close to all the costumes, and there are several worlds that I've 100% completed. I just haven't taken my time to go delve into all of them. Now, there are two reasons for that. Number one, the game is huge, and I really want to take my time playing through this game and really enjoying all the different areas. So I really just want to go at my own pace. But number two, I've just been so busy in my life with work and with coaching and volunteer work and everything like that. So I haven't played this game enough. No excuses. I will definitely 100% beat this game. By the time summer rolls around, I just need to make sure I play that game more and more. Same with Breath of the Wild. I've not 100% completed that yet. There's a lot of Korok seeds to get. My word. So that game's fantastic as well. Ice Kirby zero one on Twitter asks, "What's your favorite Switch game?" This is hard to decide, especially when you consider like all the games that are on the Switch so far. With all of these games, I only have—I think I have seven of them so far—and there's some great games that you can download as well on the system. But personally, my favorite—it's a toss-up between Mario and Zelda, and it almost always is a toss-up between these two. It really depends on what I'm looking to play. If I have an entire afternoon to divulge into a video game. I'm probably playing Breath of the Wild if I can spend that much time in it and just really immerse myself. If I have just a few minutes or I'm playing on the go, I usually play Super Mario Odyssey. So it's really a toss-up. Which game is better? There are different genres. It's really hard to compare, but the world creation for me in Breath of the Wild is a little bit better, and I'm just blown away at how well they did an open-world concept game. So Breath of the Wild for me is probably a better game, but it's so hard to compare the two. I don't even know if I'm right with that. I love Mario Odyssey. It's, it's so hard to decide. You guys let me know. What is the best game on the Nintendo Switch so far? I'd love to hear your comments as well. And that's not griping like Splatoon 2 or Xenoblade Chronicles because those are way up there as well. CTS Vikes asks, Where does the Switch rank in your all-time favorite Nintendo consoles? Okay, so this is really hard to rank in terms of this has only been out for a year and other systems have been out for their entirety of their life cycle, except for the 3DS. I like all the Nintendo systems apart from maybe the Virtual Boy. That thing gives me a headache and the Micro, Game Boy Micro, is way too small. So my number one system, if you know me and my channel, is almost always Nintendo 64. There's the Watermelon Red, we got the Jungle Green back there as well. I love the N64. It was the first system that I bought with my own money for Nintendo. I didn't grow up with an NES or Super Nintendo. I always played those at my friends' houses, and I really wanted one. And then at 10 years old, with saved up birthday money, I bought the N64. So I usually make the argument, whatever system you get first tends to be your favorite because of nostalgia reasons, or nostalgia goggles it's usually called. So the N64 is definitely in my top three. The Super Nintendo is fantastic for 2D gaming, but the NES is no slouch either. The GameCube I might have put the most hours into, or close to the most hours into. The Wii has some of the best games I've ever played. Super Mario Galaxy 2 in itself is fantastic. The Wii U has some great experiences, but in terms of a top three system, then there's all the handhelds, Game Boy Advance and the 3DS, all those are so high up. All right, so my top three, I tend to put Nintendo systems that are home consoles above handheld. So in my top three, but I'm not ranking them, is the N64, the Super Nintendo, and I could very easily see the Switch becoming a top three. The 3DS is probably my other one in the top three, but the Switch is going to pass it, I think, over time. The Switch just needs more games to come out for it. But in terms of the system itself and the hardware and the fact that I can take it on the go, it's easily in the top three. Yeah, definitely. Let me know as a comment below, what is your favorite Nintendo system or your top three or anything like that as well. Let's get the conversation going. Next up is Collins Phil asks, what is your favorite Joy-Con color? This is from Instagram, Collins Phil. The Joy-Cons have a lot of colors out there. So the Joy-Cons, we got neon red, we got neon blue. There's neon yellow, which I don't have yet. Here I have the Switch Pro Controller to show off neon green and neon pink. Love the Switch Pro Controller, by the way. Really good controller. The splatter pattern on this is exceptional. And personally, I love this color combo right here. The neon green and neon pink. They were my wedding colors with my wife. Of course, she wore a white wedding dress, but I had green accents. And for our stag and doe, we were all wearing either green or pink. I love this color combo in particular. But the neon colors, I'm a fan of. They remind me of GameCube and like spiced orange and emerald green. I feel like every Nintendo system has had some unique colors in terms of even a color scheme. Like, I feel like the Wii was more of a, like, 
what I want to call it, the red and the blue Wii colors are almost like pastel colors, if you get what I'm saying. The GameCube was really different as well, and the N64 was the see-through, transparent, fantastic colors. So the neon colors, I'm a fan of. I think they look really cool. But this right here, I love neon green. If I had to pick one color in particular, you can comment below, but your favorite color as well. Next up, we have Larry the King, 16, from Instagram. Are you going to make... Are you going to move some stuff around? I assume you mean to make room for the Nintendo Switch in my room. So my room tour is happening this month. It's March 2018. I will bring out a new room tour sometime this month. Basically, I'm quite full with my systems right now, but I do want to make room for the Nintendo Switch. So during the room tour, you're going to see exactly where it is. I have added in a shelf for more games. It might be on the game shelf, which is away from the console wall. It might also be grouped with a Nintendo Wii U because I have room there right now. So I have been moving things around and getting ready for the room tour, which you can expect by the end of the month, so stay tuned for that. But I will absolutely be showing off the Nintendo Switch during that video and in my room in general. Next question from Snorlaxboy34 on Twitter. How long do you think the Switch will last in the market? The Nintendo Switch. Basically, most Nintendo systems have followed a five-year cycle. So you have the NES sometime in 85, 86. Then you have the Super Nintendo in 91, the N64 in 96, the GameCube in 2001. Then you have the Wii in 2007, the Wii U in like 2012, I want to say. I'm going off memory. And then the Switch in 2017. It's basically always a five-year cycle. However... Nintendo does do longer cycles sometimes with their handhelds. The 3DS definitely is lasting longer. So I think the Switch is going to be on maybe like a seven-year cycle. I think this is a system that's going to get another release of a variation, kind of like the new Nintendo 3DS or the Nintendo DS, where maybe the screen's bigger, maybe this space around. Like, if you look at the system, look at the bezel around the console. Like, there's room for them to make this screen even bigger. So I do think they'll come out with that version eventually. Maybe it's just to make the system more durable, but I do think they're going to release a system that has that extra little bit of space to make an even bigger screen at some point. So I do think that's coming, but it's still going to be part of the Nintendo Switch family of systems, which I personally think is going to last seven years or so. So I do think other variations are coming, but not this year. Maybe other variations, but we'll get to that next video in terms of colors. All right, to transition into next week's video, not a normie, on Instagram asks, do you think the Switch will be able to keep the steady flow of good games going like it did in its first year? What do you hope to see in the future? Now, I'm going to save most of that question for next week's video. I think the steady flow of games like Mario, Zelda, Splatoon, Mario Kart, Fire Emblem Warriors, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, even Mario Rabbids in the Mushroom Kingdom is fantastic, and I don't even have that game yet. I don't think that momentum has been kept because this first half of the year, there hasn't been that much great stuff. We have Kirby coming out. We have Mario Tennis Aces. We have Nintendo Labo coming out. So those are the three big games, I think, from Nintendo coming. I think E3 this year is going to have a ton of stuff, but I want to save all those ideas for next question lithium. So if you do have a question for me, make sure you put Q lithium below and please start up the conversation. You can talk about your favorite system for Nintendo. You can talk about your favorite neon color or the best game on the Nintendo Switch in 2017 for the first year all the way up until March 2018. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for asking your questions. If I got asked your question, but I was not featuring it in this video, don't lose faith. There's another video coming sometime within the next week for Q Lithium for the next year of the Nintendo Switch. Feel free to follow me on all the social media links below. I have an Instagram account, of course, where I'm posting pictures, not quite daily, but more frequently than I have in the past. And I have Twitter and Twitch and all that kind of stuff. So as always, keep smiling while gaming. Go collect them all. And thanks so much for watching.